Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. My name is Stephen Corka. Juan Farage. And we are here to talk about Justice League. Justice League, the latest installment by Warner Brothers by the DC Cinematic Extended Universe, I guess, is what DCEU. And basically, it's... Uh, it's the culmination of Man of Steel into Batman versus Superman, now into Justice Wonder Woman, then into Justice League. The four kind of in that order. Um, one before well before we talk about what we what what, what we mm -hmm. uh, what we think about it, um, sales came in and they were not good. Yeah. And they were ninety six million. I think you were telling me. Yeah, under projection. Under projection by Warner Brothers. It's also the lowest weekend out of that movie: Suicide Squad, BVS, and Wonder Woman. Yeah. And Man of Steel. Man yeah. of Steel made more as well. Yeah, smallest DC one. Yeah, smallest DC EU movie. Um, opening. Opening. Batman vs Superman did one hundred sixty six million yeah. or so, and one, almost twice as much. Wonder Woman did one hundred three. And yeah. and Suicide Squad did I think one thirty or one forty. That's that's ridiculous. And Man of Steel did one twenty two I think, okay. which isn't unreasonable because Man of Steel was the first Superman, Superman one, yeah. and and Chris Nolan had his name on it too, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, what'd you think of Justice League, man? I thought it was. <clears throat> so if I'm gonna be honest, I think there be was on, be completely honest. No, no hope. spoilers, ladies and gentlemen. Tons of fucking spoilers as well as curse words. There was there was some good in the movie. Uh, I do believe there were some good moments. I did enjoy certain parts of the movie. I did laugh. Um, there was a lot more bad than good, though. Um, overall, I believe that it was better than Batman versus Superman, but still nowhere near what we got with Wonder Woman. Uh, even Man of Steel, Man of Steel, for as much as I didn't like that movie, I didn't like that movie in its characterization of uh, Superman, but it was still a, a good movie. Like, it, it flowed, it was it was well made. This movie felt choppy, uh, the editing was terrible, and I just, a lot more that I hated about it than liked. Do you think it felt choppy because of the directorial and writing shift? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you can, there's... You can feel like there's there's parts that just don't go together, don't feel like they're in, they should be in the same. Like movie. what? Give me an example. Um. So there were parts of the movie that felt a lot like like Batman versus Superman, like in tone. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, the battle, the the final battle against uh, against um, Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf yeah. Right. The final battle against Steppenwolf was almost like the battle against Doomsday. Uh, from Batman versus Superman. I mean, in, in like tone. Aren't, wait, aren't all these superhero movies this, like they all fight the bad guy at the end? It's all a big fight. Yeah, but there's cool ways to do it. I mean, like in Civil War, in Captain America, when when they were fighting each other, uh, that they did it in a unique way. Like there was interesting stuff they did that it didn't have to be the same like trading punches type of shit. You know, um, I think the CGI hurt the movie a lot. So like for instance, in that battle, it reminded me of Batman versus Superman, right? Um, when they're squaring off against Superman, it reminded me more of like Wonder Woman. It was like it just felt different. See, I thought the movie was better than Wonder Woman. Ooh, I did. I I liked Wonder Woman, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fucking put my face between her legs as much as everyone else is. You know, it it, it wasn't the only thing that made it groundbreaking is that it was a strong female lead character that gave a superhero movie justice that wasn't Catwoman or Elektra. That's what made that movie great. But other than that, was it? I don't think it was better than Man of Steel. I don't think it was better than Justice League. Well, I think Gal Gadot was the most charismatic Absolutely, out of any of them in her role. Like, I think that the story was actually no. cohesive and. Are we talking about Wonder Woman? Yeah, com yeah, yeah, especially compared to like Justice League. Like, look, listen, Justice League had a, had a problem. They had to take how many were there? Six characters in the league. Six. They had to take six characters in the league. Uh, three of them, which we haven't seen on on screen yet, right? And and create a villain, which we haven't met or seen yet. Build a story around all that. Explain where these characters came from, how they came together, all in two hours' time. Right. 
and I think well they didn't have to do it in two hours time and that's the problem they could have gone longer but well, no, nobody wants to see well, a three Sni- hour Justice League Snyder movie. made a longer movie of course he Whedon did Whedon is the one that cut it two under two hours which thank god he did I think it was I think it was the perfect time was there a lot of like was there a lot of questions still leaving the theater like how did this happen or they didn't explain enough of this of course there was but but not not enough to ruin the movie because exactly. that's not what ruined the movie I exactly. thought the movie was everything that needed to be said was said in the movie I just hated the way it was said all right, so let, let's let's. I like the movie overall, but one to ten. Let's make this easier. One to ten. Six point five. See, fair. Like, yeah, I give it a five. So no, you I, give you give Wonder Woman a five. I give Wonder Woman a a. a I give Wonder Woman the same as Justice League. But if okay. I gotta put them against each other, I'm gonna pick Justice. If, like if I so so if, so, if I can only watch one movie and I gotta choose between the two, I'm gonna go with Justice League. So. It, it, just just do the might as well like real quickly just so we have a, f- a frame of reference do the five movies so man of steel for you is what what are we, what are we doing man of steel batman versus superman wonder Su- woman Su- justice league and suicide squad and Su- man of steel is my number one right but i mean from I, one to, i think it's the from best. one to ten it's the best out of the five what do you give one to ten Su- uh man of steel man of steel yeah a, a nine a nine and batman versus superman 6.5 wonder woman they're all six fives and suicide squad because I give Six. that shit like a two. I'll give I'll give Suicide no I take that I'll give Suicide Squad a five. Okay, so I so you see yeah. you see um basically to you what you're saying is Justice League was average, a little above average. Okay, like I don't I I don't think it's I don't think it's better than most of the Marvel movies. I don't think it's better than the Nolan movies. I don't think it's better than the 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 Tim Burton Batman's or the or the Richard Donner Superman's I don't think it's better better than those and okay. I, I don't think it's better than Man of Steel either, um, but uh, it was good. Here's here's my problem with Justice League. First of all, I didn't like the villain. Yeah, I I, I thought Steppenwolf was horrible. The CGI, the was CGI so, was so horrible. Much, they made yeah. him look like an old man. First of all, that was not intimidating at he all. He looked like Ares. He looked a lot like Ares. Reminded too. me of yeah. Ares. Yeah, like why not just put a a real person that they fought. Why did he have to be 100% CGI? Yeah. Why? Because he's tall and big and brooding. Like you can't make a real person a little taller. Right. You know, through computer work. Um, and and he, the guy spoke like an old man. He he moved like an old man. He looked like an old man. He was not intimidating. Not at all. intimidating at all. It just uh, I, the the villain was not clever. It was not. It was just. It wasn't a good villain. You know, and and they only made one dark side reference. Yeah, they uh, called him out. They should have called him out a little bit more. They should have explained Steppenwolf's role in that New Gods Dark Side universe a little better. Right. And they just they 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 just didn't again again. This falls into you. You have two hours to explain what the fuck is going on. But it 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 uh it wasn't. Um, the villain was horrible. The something was I horrible. did, li- and the, and and it's because the villain was horrible that probably drops it down a good two notches oh, for me, if not three. Absolutely. You know, there are other issues I have with it, but that's that's my number one main issue with it was the villain. This is not just DC though. Marvel does it too. Like we're just not getting good. Marvel's villains. horrible with their villains. No good villains. Horrible. The, the 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 best people that do a great job with villains has probably been the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Um, listen, I will say this, man. Zod was a great villain in Man of Steel. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael, whatever his name is, mm-hmm. w- did a fabulous job as Zod, and and as as villainous as Zod was, like you felt you felt for him. He was fighting for his people, for the legacy mm-hmm. and the heritage of right. his people. You know that was his purpose. And without that, like like when 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 Superman destroyed all the Codex and and all the DNA records were gone, he had nothing to fight for anymore. No. And then he just lost his shit and fucking went crazy. Um, but Z- Zod was great. Yeah. Um. Well, I like that. Uh. The little reference Steppenwolf makes to the new gods. Yeah. He made and uh, that was clever. And the old gods too. He 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 talked about the right, old but, gods. Right. But specifically the new gods references because uh, Steppenwolf's first appearance was in in the series New Gods. Yeah. Jack uh, Kirby. Th- yeah. So um, yeah. I thought that was really cool. Um, that's it about Steppenwolf, though. That's all I cared about. Yeah, he was bullshit. It was bullshit. Uh, the mother boxes, they really did a shitty job at explaining. I didn't, yeah. You know? No. Yeah. Uh, we just know they're a source of immense power, and they bring life as well as destroy life, apparently. Yeah. Um, standout character in the movie for you? 
Well, it's Wonder Woman. Is it really Wonder Woman? It's Wonder Woman, man. Mm. Wonder Woman. No. Like when Gail Godot's on screen, no. like there's no one else on screen. No. No. No way, man. You why? Because you want to fuck her? No, no. Because she's she's great. She's charismatic. She is she's, great. Yeah. She is great. But but no, she wasn't the standout. The standout for me, first first of all, I I I go back and forth. I thought I thought Superman, like totally made the movie. As like I thought Superman was amazing, and they allowed him to smile finally. They 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 definitely congratulations made, on DC. I mean, they, as far I as, didn't know Superman could look, smile in look, the DCEU. They definitely made Superman a little more positive, a little more Boy Scoutish. Yeah, was more like his character. Finally, they also made his costume more blue. I don't know. If they you did make that. him more blue. Absolutely, yeah, his it, costume was brighter. Yes, it's a brighter blue. Yeah, uh, they put him in flannel and he smiled at the end. Yeah, yeah, they they definitely and they definitely, you know they CGI'd his upper lip. I heard that because yeah. he has a mustache. Why did mustache. he just shave the fucking mustache? Because he's in it's for another movie. I know, but how long does it take him? It must take him a long time to grow a mustache. I guess. But again, like, like it's like motherfucker, you're Superman in Justice League. Yeah, shave your the, mustache. The, the other movie he's doing is is uh is Mission Impossible. He's got the mus- mustache for Mission Impossible. Oh, that's, that's stupid. So wait, wait. If I was Warner Brothers, I'd be like, wait, wait. Let me get this straight, motherfucker. You're not gonna shave your mustache for the Tom Cruise Mission Impossible movie, right? And and you're in fucking Justice League as Superman, yeah. arguably the most iconic superhero ever. Yeah, that's. I'd be like, shave your fucking mustache, motherfucker. You know. So I, the standout performance to you is probably going to be Cyborg. No, no. I, I, I what I'm saying is, is, I love Superman. I thought yeah. Superman was great when he was on screen. I was watch. I, I like, su- Superman was Superman and. We saw why he's Superman and he's why, great. why people can't fuck with him. So I have no complaints about Superman. Henry, I think Superman and, and did And Henry well. Cavill does a, does a great job. That motherfucker's ripped, by the way, too. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, I thought his resurrection was a little odd. That whole I had a huge problem with the whole resurrection for multiple reasons. I didn't have a problem with it. Like I like I'm glad they did it like that because I'm like, how are they gonna explain Superman came back from the dead when he when he fucking got his heart stabbed out of him by Frankenstein? Even. Yeah, but he gets hit with lightning. Uh, type of deal. My problem with it was Science monster. They they pull him out of the casket and he he hasn't decomposed one bit. First of all, he looks fucking clean as day. You right. know, maybe just a little more pale. Right. Um, but um, it, it, it's it. He he came back to his senses way too quickly. I thought for someone that was like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm attacking these people. You know, I did like the Do you bleed? thing that he yeah. said the Batman little throwback yeah. to Batman versus Superman but uh, the disorientation he had after coming to and then like snapping back into it, I thought it was a little quick I thought bringing Lois in was great I, you know I, I hate Amy Adams still as Lois Lane I, I can't get over it man I like her I, I like don't her. I, I'm not into it man I like her not into her at all I like her I'm with you I think Superman was actually one of the better parts of the movie I, I, out of the Justice League and I'm sure we're going to talk about each one individually I think three were great no, well, two were great. One was meh, and three were horrible. Well, and uh, Superman was actually pretty great. Superman was amazing. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman was great. I mean, she looks great, and 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 Gal Gadot played her part. Yeah, you know she, that that's the part they write for. They they really just um, all they did was they said, okay, everything we've done for Wonder Woman, not just in this movie, but Batman vs Superman, we want to recreate. I mean, right. we can credit the movie Wonder Woman all you want, and credit the director. Uh, for Wonder Woman for making that character amazing, but you really got to credit Zack Snyder because Wonder Woman in Batman vs Superman was 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 she was the same in that movie also. Yeah. Whenever she was on screen, she was amazing. No, yeah, yeah, you that's know? really good casting. So, uh, it, so everything good about Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman was great. Uh, the third character that I thought was good, and and I want to try to stick to the char- going character by character is so I thought Superman was great, Wonder Woman was great, I thought Cyborg was good, fabulous, really good job, fabulous. Um. I know it had to be hard because um, shit, he's half robot. Like, oh, I, 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 but he looked great. He looked great. First of all, I love Cyborg in the comic books. Mm-hmm. All right, I didn't it uh, for a long time. He's always a member of the Teen Titans, and I, and I wrote off the Teen Titans. And I'm like, fuck these guys. Jeff Johns from DC Comics rewrote the character, made him a member of the Justice League, and and ever since then, like, I think Cyborg is not only one of the most powerful people yes. in the DC universe, but uh, just a, a, an amazing character, a tragic story mm-hmm. at the same time, and and they, I I think that that really came across well. In the story, he the 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 guy that played um, Cyborg really did a good job at making us 
feel for him and mm-hmm. and his loss of humanity really yeah um and even like even like when he when he went into defense mode he's like i can't control it like yeah. like like they they did a really good job it's like someone that you can tell is new to his powers yes and uh they did a really good job showing him struggling with those powers struggling with his new identity and then uh joining this team and even like he was the, the most interesting part of that team because he didn't always just fit in sometimes he just decided to do shit on his own yes he like forgot he was part of the team yes you know so i think with his character we got to remember he was a star football player um so he has a different mentality than maybe the rest of the people would sometimes he might you know and uh, i think they did a really good um job in this movie of characterization not to mention his design was fantastic design, which i don't know i don't know if you noticed but post steppenwolf he actually his chest changed mm-hmm. into a more the more iconic cyborg yeah. look it yeah. wasn't so like tr- transformer megatron right looking. right yeah um but yeah cyborg was great and i don't know if you picked up on this too but his father mm-hmm. is dyson from terminator 2 yeah i did creator of great. Skynet. yeah I, w- I hope that was on purpose <laughs> i don't know but it was great yeah i hope that was on purpose yeah a little but not like to, to tie in skynet but just like no a little, as a easter like egg easter yeah egg for, the, yeah. for the kids like a what if yeah what if cyborg is skynet yeah which he, he potentially could right be. yeah because cyborg is that powerful cyborg is great um and he's he's fighting he, he has to fight that cybernetic part of him that's trying to take over his personality yes yeah now l- l- let's talk about flash no not yet no, let's no, not, that has to be last. No, Batman's no, gonna be last. No, Flash Batman's was my most Flash was my most hated character. But you, but, but, Bat, but it's Batman. You don't want to end with Batman. No, because Batman, I had a real problem with Batman. I had a real problem with Batman too. You had a problem with all the characters going. But forward. I, but the thing is, I loved Batman and Batman versus Superman. I loved Batman. And I Batman hated versus Flash Superman. the minute that we knew this was going to be Flash, and I hated him now. I want. I have nothing but bad things to say about Flash. So what? You you really don't want to talk about Flash right now? Right, let's talk about Flash because I don't talk about Flash. Come on, so go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this down. Let the you talk. three characters go. that I hated. Wait, wait. Flash wait, wait. was the yeah, one go. I hated okay. the absolute most. It was horrible. Like, is that how? Is I mean, you've read way more DC than I have. Is that how Barry Allen is? Like, is this WB show that I've been watching for three years that gives me a Barry Allen that I thought was like the comics? I guess he's like some type of neurotic, anti-social, like sociopath. That's what Flash is. No, Flash is Flash is very much like Hal Jordan, and that's why Hal Jordan and Barry Allen are such good friends. Mm-hmm. And 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 there's been many team ups between the two of them in comics. They're cocky, they're smart, they're leaders. They're strong. They are sarcastic, and and they're funny. And they're humane. Like, yes, they're they right. care about people. What you're gonna say? Ezra Miller's Flash doesn't care about people. I I, I, I felt I, I didn't him. get an I didn't I, get that vibe. No, no. Him. What I mean, there's no emotional impact to that character at all. Like when he visits his dad in jail, I don't really give a fuck. Well, they they really didn't emphasize on it much. They didn't they, they didn't dive into it enough. No. You know, because for the sake of the, the runtime of the movie, I'm sure the Zack Snyder cut has a has a lot more Flash backstory as well as Aquaman and Cyborg backstory. No, you know, um, just I wasn't into like he's this weird like he's a so, he's an antisocial sociopath. I, well, he, here's what here's here's what I've noticed because I've been I've been looking what people have been saying and 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 what reviews are and and women seem to love the Flash. Like, like, uh, 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 women are coming back and saying Flash was amazing. Like, hold on. At Suzy Fett, did you watch Justice League, right? Yeah. Did you like Flash? He was pushy. At Suzy Fett, she said he was pushy. That's a I, first. I didn't hear that one before. But, 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 um, yeah. He, 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 my problem with Flash is obviously they made him the rookie in the team, which is fine. Mm-hmm. He doesn't need to be a seasoned veteran. He could be a guy that just discovered his powers and really doesn't know what he's working with. I'm okay with that, but they made him so clumsy. Yeah, they made him. Uh, they 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 made it, they they made him look stupid. Yeah, like how many times when he's like running, he's like his eyes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, oh like like skittish. Yeah, you know, timid. You know, and maybe he's got to come into his own because he's discovering his superhero dim. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but but. He was not anything like what he is in the comic books. No, um, and I didn't like what they did with the costume. I didn't mind the costume. I do enjoy the CW costume better. Yeah, but I've ne- to be fair, I've never seen one episode of the CW's Flash. Yeah, so I can't comment on it. Um, but from what I have heard, people say the character is amazing. Mm-hmm. The guy that plays him, he is. 
Yeah. And that's a huge problem for the DC movies too. Like I, I think Ezra Miller doesn't have a chance with someone like me because I love the 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 character so much that I see on TV that anything that deviates from that I'm gonna hate. Yeah, but you you know they're not gonna do a carbon copy of what's on TV. No, I think that DC again. We talked about this before. They fucked up by not. Why didn't they just get Grant Gustin to be the Flash in the movie? Because it's a separate universe. Maybe yeah. hey. Like like I said on on one of our past episodes, maybe the grand plan is to do a, a new Fifty Two movie and merge all the universes into one. Never happened, yeah. but it'd be amazing. So Flash, I thought was awful. I didn't like Flash either. I and I just I, Aquaman. I hated Aquaman. I surprisingly enjoyed him more than I thought I would. I hated him. There are things I hated about him, but if I have to say overall, thumbs up or down, I'm gonna go thumbs up before I go down. First of all, Jason Moore, fucking beautiful man. Jesus Christ. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, other than that, he I, I liked his look, man. Believe it or not, I, th- I liked his look. Um, I liked his look, too. I loved Mara. Mara was My great. My goodness, for Mara the five seconds she was in there. And you know what? When Aquaman showed up with the Triton in his Aquaman costume, yeah. there, it, there, yeah. there, there was hints of the gold and the green yeah. in there. Yeah, it was nice. So I liked it. So it, He looked good. He looked what good. do I hate about Aquaman? The way he fucking talks. I so yeah. we saw a movie earlier this year called Kingsman, A Secret Service. Yes. Aquaman belongs in that American Kingsman. He might as well call himself like fucking Johnny Walker. The statesman. Yeah. yeah. He's a statesman. He talks like one of them. He talks like a weird fucking Texan. I mean, that's his real voice. He didn't alter his voice. If you watch interviews, that's how he talks. Well, he sh- Aquaman shouldn't talk like a Texan. I mean, I mean, I mean, he, he Jason Momoa made him talk a little more like yeah. firm and strong, yeah. king of the seas. Like a cowboy. Uh, he yeah. sounds to me like a cowboy. It was awful. He it was did. off-putting. He, I agree with you, and this is this is why I agree. What what they said in the movie is that uh, that that his mother abandoned him and left him at the doorsteps of his father, which we all know ran the lighthouse. Yeah. In New England somewhere. Yeah. Um, I forget what the name of the place is, but it's in New England, a lighthouse. So at, it, at worst, you would think that Arthur Curry would have a New England accent. Yeah. Or something. And if you and if you can't have the New England accent, where you're not pronouncing your R's. Then just don't have an accent at all, you know. Yeah. Just have a straightforward, uh, uh, um, American-sounding voice, you right. know. No, no South, no, no slang, no twang. It no. was just, it was weird. Like when he's like, my man, I'm like, oh no, weird. So I really did not like that. Um, I also don't like, like him and Wonder Woman have always had like a little. It's obviously Aquaman's all Mera is the queen, whatever. But him and Wonder Woman have always had like a. Uh, a con- like the connection that they give Aquaman and Batman in this movie, I felt belonged to Aquaman and Wonder Woman as characters. I mean, maybe. I, I that didn't bother. I didn't even think about uh-huh. that. Yeah. I mean, I, I will say this. I like the character of Aquaman in the movie. I was glad to see Aquaman. I'm a big fan of him in the comics. Um, Did you like the look? I liked the look. I was, I was very skeptical going in because I thought it was just going to be a bunch of my man and hell yeah, yeah. oh yeah oh yeah, you know I thought it was going to be a bunch of that and it wasn't he actually had dialogue that I enjoyed mm-hmm. you know he came off tough he came off like the bully you know like he's just had a rough life and he doesn't put up with anyone's shit and you know and 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 I'm super powerful I don't need to deal with your shit I I, I work alone but for the sake of the world I'm going to work with you guys and I I if if their intent was to was to take away the super friends stereotype of Aquaman, oh, they did, and and, and make Aquaman relevant and cool and likable, and want you to go see his feature film, which is coming out next year, I think. Like, I think they accomplished that. Yeah. Um. So, but yeah, if I to, if I have to if I had to give a negative negative criticism about Aquaman, I would say it's it's definitely it's his, the voice. His, his accent for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's his o- accent. Other than that, though, I was okay. I was okay with his dialogue. Yeah. I was good with his look, and I thought Jason Momoa. Yeah, and he did he did some cool stuff like he when he stopped the water flowing he in, some, and his action scenes, you know, were definitely cool. When he when he yeah. talked to when when Batman asked him if he talks to the fishes, like I loved his reply. They they made him great. Yeah, I just they, don't like his voice. Yeah. Um, I will say this about both Flash and Aquaman and Warner Brothers and the DCEU. Um, do they have a problem with blonde hair, blue eyed white guys? <laughs> you know, mm. like like there are no blondes anywhere, yeah. anywhere in like any of these movies. It seems you know, like uh, and like 
if you don't want to make Aquaman blonde, that's fine. But 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 Barry Allen's blonde too. Like there are no blondes. If I was blonde right now, like a blonde guy. I mean, I'm not. I'm brunette clearly. But if I was blonde, I'd be like, fuck, man. Why can't the blondes get some love? <laughs> like seriously. I, I I there are I, no blondes. There are no blondes in any of these movies. Yeah, I don't care though. But it's weird, isn't it? I don't. I didn't even notice. I don't even in Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn's a blonde, and in the movie they made her like like jet white hair with 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 little blue and pink things on, on the on the tips of her on the tips of her hair. Like like blondes are getting blondes are getting shafted in all. I'm films. super happy. Captain America is a blonde, and in the Marvel universe, he's brunette. Now I get it. I get it. Chris Evans is naturally brunette, but the highest fucking hair. It's like nobody wants to embrace people that are blonde. I don't know. I, you know what? I'm really super happy right now that I did not notice that and that I could not give a fuck. Well, do you want to know why I noticed that? Because because being a, a fan of the of the source material. Yeah. You know, I I you I, were automa- I, I, you I were do, making I, that comparison. I do heavy comparisons, not just the way the character is portrayed, but the way the character looks in costume as well as out of costume. Right. So w- when it comes to their their aesthetics and the way they look, I you know I I, I it's something that you notice. I, I notice something. So yeah. so so when I see Aquaman and he's not wearing some type of orange up here and green down here. Yeah, with gold yeah, I here, And he doesn't have blonde hair. Like I notice that shit. Right. You know. Um. So, but but someone. The costume design and the makeup people, they made conscious decisions to Not say, to make anybody blonde. I don't want to make anybody blonde. And it's it's on both sides. No. It's on Marvel and DC, and I find it very odd. That's weird, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I like to see? I like to see a cameo by a seahorse. Like Aquaman's riding Aqu- a seahorse? No, I like to see a seahorse in the distance with some random blonde guy on it. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck you. Um, Batman. Fuck you in the ass. Batman. Uh, so le- so uh, uh, let me tell you this. I thought Batman was, other than Wonder Woman, the the best thing about Batman versus Superman. I was. I like, agree. I, I thought Batman. I thought Batman was the best thing about Batman versus Superman. I was I excited. Loved Batman was I was great. excited about the direction they were taking Batman in. The twenty years later, like yes. beat down older Batman, right? Like we're looking the, the, at the, the, the Robin costume. Yeah, with the graffiti. Oh on it. yeah, that yeah. gruff Batman. And what yeah. the fuck happened? First of all, he's not a detective anymore. He likes to make spontaneous decisions. When has he been a detective? No, but Batman usually has a plan for everything. But in the comics, I mean, in the movies, when has he been a detective? The closest thing he came to a detective, in my opinion, was in The Dark Knight when he extracted the bullet from the wall to get the fingerprint off yeah. of it. From the three. Okay, printing. so let's not say detective, but he's he's someone that, even in comics, always has a plan. Of course. Like, this movie was just him winging it. Batman it's really like, weird. See, Batman just came off like a fucking pussy yeah. in this movie. That was my problem. He's, and couldn't you tell like Ben Affleck didn't want to be there, right? He did not look like he was... Like, everyone else looked like they were enjoying their parts, right? Maybe, like, Jason Momoa loved being Aquaman. Yes, Let me tell you something. Look, he loved I mean, that. listen, let's be fair to Ben Affleck for a second. He doesn't have a lot of... Is it dexterity or whatever movement allowed in that costume? Yeah. That costume does not give him anywhere near the same amount of movement that, say, Christian Bale got in the Batman movies. Okay. That cowl and that suit, it's just so bulky. Huge, yeah. Like, the only acting you're going to get out of Ben Affleck is a little arm movement and whatever you see right here in his face. Yeah, but he wasn't always in the, in the movie. He's He wasn't in the costume a lot of the time. I thought when he was recruiting, he was good. He was okay. I, I, they, I, I feel like they changed him. Like you said, he was a pussy and he was... He was not the Batman. He's not the Batman that was presented to us. He's not. And and listen, to be fair, like there's a lot of rumors, and the rumors will probably be true that this was the last time we'll see Ben Affleck in the Bat costume. And I think they need to make that change. Um, either that, or they need to write no, the no. character better. No, because Ben Affleck could do it. We know he could do it. We but, saw in Batman versus Superman. But he doesn't want to do it. Like the the problem is not I, even. I, I, do- you're making an assumption. You can't do that. Well, well, in every interview and every time they talk to him about Batman, it's always like, oh, I don't know, it's whatever. It's you know, it's it's not like because maybe maybe he knows he's done, but he's on a gag order and can't say shit. But you this know? is this is this this started like almost right away. Do you think the fact that Batman versus Superman was panned so horribly just kind of took the taste out of being Batman from him? I think that paired with his solo Batman movie, which right. he was going to write and direct, yeah. and went south for 
because he dropped out. I'm sure he didn't drop yeah. out. I'm sure some shit happened behind the scenes with studio execs and him, and 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 it was kind of like Ed Norton Hulk, right? You know that deal. You know, so uh, I heard a rumor of Jake Gyllenhaal possibly taking over as Batman. No. Nah. Yeah, could be good. No, yeah. he's a good actor. He is a good actor, and he's he's got a good look. But, but they need to they need to change something because first of all, to me, it's ridiculous that at this point we don't have a solo Batman movie. I mean, we've had a, quite a few actually. No, but I mean, in the in this DCEU universe, there needs to be something to establish his well, universe. They were trying to do that, but obviously they have actor problems. No, nah, well, you know, um, and, which is why they need to just change actors. Just cut your losses. I think they're going. I think it's fair to say they're going to, but we're not going to see a Batman movie before we see. Aquaman, Ridiculous. Suicide Squad, or Wonder Woman two. Yeah. Those three. And are f- why aren't they making a Flash? Oh no, Flash got they, is in this they shit. They announced too. Flashpoint. They announced Flashpoint, but they haven't started anything for okay. it yet. So that's in the same boat as Batman. Either one could come first. Right. right. Uh, but for sure, Aquaman's in production. At, at Wonder Woman's in pre-production, and I think so is Suicide Squad. Uh, but yeah, Batman was Batman was very disappointed. Yeah. Um, aside from that, some other things I didn't like about the movie that brought it a few notches down for me. The Russian family and the cottage. Yeah. Pointless. Pointless. They could have taken that whole thing out. I wish they would have. And given me more backstory on one of the characters instead. I wish they would have. I, I feel like the whole reason for that family in there was because they wanted to lead up to Flash pushing the pickup truck and Superman with the apartment building and just get that little joke in there. So let's add this whole story element and to get that... One yeah, joke. that was that was unnecessary. Very unnecessary. They they could have eliminated the civilian thing altogether. Yeah. Like, oh, I gotta go save civilian. Just take it out. Take it the yeah. fuck out. You know, totally, totally fucking necessary. You know what else I hated? I hated the vines, the purple. Yeah, the vines. Yeah. That just went through everything. Like, first of all, it looked fake as fuck. Mm-hmm. You know, and just unnecessary. Like, mm-hmm. like, I, I didn't like it. Yeah. Um, Green Lantern cameo. That was really cool. It's cool. I love that. I thought that was great, and um, I'm upset we didn't have more Green Lantern. But yeah. they, 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 not only did they show the Green Lantern cameo, but they, they, they spoke about the lanterns also yeah. Yeah. Uh, throughout the movie, which is good. So, oh, when they killed the lantern battle, how the ring just the ring that was fan, to yeah, new, that, to a find new, a new, uh, yeah, yeah. where. So that that's actually that was really cool. Um, best great. part. Now here's a the part that the end credit scene was absolutely 100 percent the best part of that movie. Before we get there, the race was great. The race was great. The race was great, and we're never going to see who wins because it's an ongoing debate. Yeah. There's, there's still no clear who wins between Superman and right, Flash. Right, it's obviously going to be Flash. Though, yeah, so. but 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 it's an ongoing joke, and that, that was great. You yeah. Know? And I guess, the, I guess the Russian family had the, you know, to, to do that, to do Superman and Flash trying to save civilians and racing each other. They, they But it doesn't matter. They, they didn't have to concentrate on that story. They could have just shown them saving them. I know. Because uh, other people were escaping, too. I know. It was fucking lame. The last end credit scene, though, yes, it was probably one of, if not the best scene in the fucking movie. We're all expecting Dark Side. Right? I'm we were, not uh, anymore. No, I'm, but, I'm, I'm, I'm not sa- anymore. No, I'm saying we are expecting to see Dark Side in the end credit scene. That's what you were expecting. I was expecting either that or Green Lantern. Yeah. Yes. What do we get? Lex Luthor and Deathstroke talking about forming the Legion of Doom. Amazing. And first of all, to all you people on the internet, I don't know if you've been reading shit, but they've been talking about it and the Justice League and calling it the Injustice League. Mm -hmm. Don't, Warner Brothers, please do not call it the Injustice League. No. Please do not call it that. Please call it the Legion of Doom. Yes. Please call it the Legion of Doom. I can't be any more clear about that. If they call it the Injustice League, I'm just going to be like, fuck you. Mm -hmm. But first of all, Jesse Eisenberg, is that his name? Yeah. I'm sold, man. I like his Luther. He's I hated quir- it. He's quirky. He's quirky. He's he's calculating. He's unpredictable. You know? And 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 that's what makes him that and he's powerful. He's smart. He's a genius. And he's got all this fucking, you know, um capital behind him. He's he really is. And, and the fact that he's calculating and unpredictable is what makes him a great Lex Luthor. The Lex Luthor that we see in the comic books, the Lex Luthor that we see in Superman the Animated Series, great, right. hands down. But as calculating as that Luthor is, he is reserved. 
he's calm and 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 and, and when he does blow up it, you know of course it's just to throw punches and shit like that but he's predictable he just wants to you know we we, we know what direction he's going Jesse Eisenberg we don't know if he's going to fucking you know w- you know chop your head off or not you know it's very I'm going to hold on to my judgment because again I hated that I hated that in Batman versus Superman hated him I, 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 I think a lot of people gave him a bad rep because they were expecting to see what they see in the comics or in Batman the Animated Series. Or Superman the Animated Series, should I say, which, again, are great iterations of the character. I will say this. When they showed the end credit scene and they showed the bald guy in the background in the jail cell and it turned around and it was a cl- completely different guy, my initial thought was, oh, my God, L- Luther Sr. is alive. And oh. there he is. <laughs> because he was dead, apparently. Yeah. No. And I'm like, that's Luther Sr. That's what they're doing the correct... The J- Jesse Eisenberg thing that everyone bitched about. But then when they actually showed the, the yacht, and you could see clear as day Deathstroke is on the little boat. Yeah, yeah. Before, before he makes his full thing. Yeah, they show the sword. See, yeah, you see him clear as day. And I'm like, oh, no, that was a, that was a decoy. And we're going to see Jesse Eisenberg finally. Right. He's here. Deathstroke looked amazing. Yeah. Looked oh, like... Like in the comics. Like just uh, looked amazing, though. And... Uh, Obviously, Black Manta will be in the Legion of Doom, who's the villain in Aquaman. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably Cheetah, mm. you know, and uh, just a lot of good things. Legion, Legion of Doom, really exciting. My worry is this: box office sales do not go where they need to go, and Warner Brothers says we need to scrap Reboot. everything and start the fuck over. We need to do something bold, like Sony did. Sony said. We fucked up, and they started over again, and with the Spider-Man thing. Mm-hmm. Even though Spider-Man: Homecoming didn't give them the return they were looking for, right. it made just as much money as Amazing Spider-Man number one right. with Garfield, uh, and made less money than Spider-Man three. So, uh, as far as dollars are concerned, Sony didn't get the return. But I wouldn't doubt that Warner Brothers is shit in the prance right now. You know, they got a they got a slam dunk with Wonder Woman for sure. Yeah. You know, um, I think they're going to see what happens with Aquaman. And Suicide Squad, and I don't think we're going to see a Justice League two until 2021, 2022 maybe. Right. You know, so we'll see. Go see Justice League. I want to see more of this stuff. You? Um, save your money. Wait for it to come out on tape. Oh you come know. on! Did on you really video. Just say tape? Video. video. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, wait for it to come out on digital. Rent it for like four bucks. Save yourself the other sixteen. It wasn't that bad. Come on, fuck you, dude. Like, no, I'm, really? not, I'm not telling them not to watch it. Dude, it was it was good. I'm not telling them not to watch it. It was good. Good enough to watch when it comes out on streaming, whatever the fuck it's called. Whatever. You're fucking lame, dude. Are you serious? Well, that's my actual honest opinion. That's fine. I'm trying to save somebody money. Okay, great. Uh, anyways, uh, you got anything else to say about the Justice League? No. I again, um, I thought it was great. It was it was good, not great. Um. And the things that I loved, I really loved. Um, things that I hated, I really hated. Oh, by the way, sh- uh, that scene with uh, Superman, when Flash is running super fast, and then Superman, I, that was really well done. I, I do, I did love that scene. So We didn't talk about it. What are you talking about? When Flash, uh, when the first time they fight Superman after they Frankenstein him. Oh, and yeah, Flash yeah. is going fast, and all of a sudden Superman's eyes start moving and following him, and he's like, what the fuck? That was yeah, crazy. yeah, no, that was great, yeah. yeah was which great. I was also led up to the race, which led, you know. Yes, yeah, so. yeah. No, um, I thought the movie was overall good. Check it out. Uh, support the movies anyways, because without your support, they don't happen. And uh, other than that, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, follow us on Facebook as well as Instagram. You can find us at Corka Comics everywhere. We got a shop in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard, just east of University, and one in Miami on 107th and 8th Street, across the street from FIU. Uh, our next episode coming up is going to be a Punisher review, Netflix. Yeah. Uh, we're in the middle of watching that thing right now, and I'm sure we have a lot to say about that. Uh, so for Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I am Stephen Corka. Juan Frog. Take care.